Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tiago. I am a fourth year medical student and boy, do I have a massive tool or tips you can use to prepare for your medical school interview. I've been using AI, artificial intelligence, chat GPT to help me prepare for my interviews. And I wanna show you how it can completely change your prep, all right? I have it open here on the computer. And first of all, like what is chat GPT? Well, let's ask it and it will tell us the answer. So if I come here, I have some prompts ready to say this time. If I ask, what is ChatGPT? It's gonna spit out that it is a language and model developed by OpenAI using techniques in natural language and NLP, generating human-like text, and you can use it to answer questions, blah, blah, blah. All right, so let's get into it. I'm gonna ask, I'm preparing for my medical school interviews. Can you help me answer a few questions? So what ChatGPT is, it's trained on information up till I think 2021. I can't learn right now, but it has memories of things uh, before 2021. So it says, of course, I'd be happy to help you prepare for med school interviews. Please specify the questions you like help answering. So with interviews, there are a set number of, you know, typical questions that everybody likes to ask. You know, tell me about yourself, why medicine, what's your future goals, and then they'll have some other stories that they want you to share in ethical scenarios. So the way I've been using ChatGPT is if I get stumped on the question, I can't think of a story, then what I do is I type in the question I ask it and it's gonna give me an answer and then I can use that answer think of a kind of jogs my memory about a story that I've experienced and then fit my story into that answer this I will preface it with this or give you a warning the answers that AI gives you is not gonna be correct 100% of the time nor should you model all of your answers for it and I will show you why because humans right now are just a lot better in terms of understanding what the interviewer wants just because you know we are learning we're trained on this and we have experience but ai is going to do its best so this is the next prompt that i have give me a list of the top 10 most asked questions in medical school interviews in canada this is my interview buddy i rehearse my answers with little knowledge is getting big so you can see there's 10 questions why do you want to become a doctor what motivates you and so on. You can write this down. I'll maybe, I could even include it in the description so that you guys can uh, use it in practice. And so this will be our framework. Top 10 questions. And I want to start off with the most common one, which is how should I answer the, you know, tell me about yourself question. So let's do that. How should I answer the tell me about yourself question? And so uh, now I want to say, can you give me an example of an answer? So what AI does or what ChatGPT does is it remembers the previous 3000 either characters or words. There's a big difference, but it remembers what's behind it. So it knows that I'm talking about, tell me about yourself. There you go. I have always been passionate about science and helping others, which is why I have always known that a career in medicine is the right path for me. Healthcare during these screens, I was struck by the positive impact healthcare workers can have in the vision. I'm excited about the prospect of attending a medical school, reputation. So this gives you a very bland, generic answer, but it puts your mind on the right track and track in terms of what to focus on. Generally for tell me about yourself, you want to kind of focus briefly on your upbringing. What'd you do? What'd you learn? A couple points of experiences. Where'd you go for school? And then give them one kind of key trait that characterizes you and then some examples. You do two or three values that really summarize who you are. So let's move on to another one. Help me answer the question, why do you want to come to the University of Ottawa for medical school? All right, so the answer is spewed out. I'm interested in Ottawa because of its reputation for comprehensive, innovative medical education. I like to focus on, you know, collaboration. Part of the city appeals to me, provides uh, experiences, partnerships, impressed by commitment. Good cookie cutter answer, overall I'm confident. All right, let's say that now that you got the framework, you have an idea of, you know, what to say, but you actually have specific 
thoughts, specific ideas, or reasons why you want Ottawa. And you can type that out and tell the AI so that it can then use your words, your ideas to make an answer. So I said, I think Ottawa is a beautiful location. It doesn't feel like a big city. It's close to my family, not mine, I'm just making this up. Help me answer the question, bam, okay? So it's beautiful, it doesn't feel like a big city, and it's close to my family. You come up with your three reasons, and then you can ask AI to help you with that. I said, I'm excited about the prospect of living in Ottawa for several reasons, all right? So in a couple of seconds, I have basically the answer that I'm gonna use, and then you, re and then you reword it, because uh, you're not gonna read line for line during your interview, you just rehearse until you feel comfortable and it feels natural to you. You don't want to sound robotic. So you can even say, summarize the answer in bullet points. Because let's say you don't want to be focused by all the details. Otto's beautiful location, slower pace, near family, good reputation for comprehensive medical education, has partnerships committed to producing responsible healthcare providers, and uh, you're confident that this is an ideal place to become, to be trained, okay? Next question. Let's talk about something nobody really likes to talk about. Weaknesses. Okay, good. Um, I don't know about this too detail oriented. It can be used. My weakness that I'm using is kind of like time management, stress management, example. If you don't like something, give me another example. One of my weaknesses is that I'm introverted and reserved. You know, what I do about that, I join a public speaking club, opportunities to practice in front of people and get feedback, additionally sought advice from friends and mentors. And then you could say, this is gonna help me become a better doctor in the future because I can communicate better with my patients and colleagues and confront my, my blind spots or weaknesses. See, so we went from how, kind of Oh my gosh, like what's a weakness of mine too? Here's an example. Am I introverted? I am. This is something that I could tweak to my experience. And you could play around with making it casual or more professional. So you could say, make this sound more casual. All right, so let's see here. Perfectionist, I already don't like this. Don't ever say that you're perfectionist. Get out of here, get something else. There's a lot of other weaknesses you have. Second guessing, overthinking things. There's a big list you can think about. Tackle this, working on practicing mindfulness, letting things feel not perfect, work in progress, and I've been asking feedback. So yeah, I wouldn't use that, but okay. But you can see how you can change the tone. Next question, what makes you stand out from other applicants? That's a good question and something that I've just been reminded of. I'm so focused on the screen that I'm forgetting to look at you. I'm forgetting to look at your precious face. And that is something that you have to remember when you're doing the interview, is to stare deep into the eyes of the camera, the lens. Because if I'm looking here, I'm talking, but it feels like I'm ignoring you. But if I change my eyes, say so yeah, you feel cared for. What makes you stand out from other applicants? I believe what sets me apart from other applicants, my passion for healthcare, committed. That's, everybody's gonna have passion. Throughout my academic professional experience, I've consistently demonstrate dedication, improving the lives of others, so has everybody else. So like this is very, it's giving you generic answers. That's why I prefer you telling it a little bit about who you are, so it can then pull from your personality, your experiences, and create an answer. And let's do that right now. So, Chiago. How do I train an AI to know who I am? Let me show you this. Let me slap this on there. Click return. So this is what I'm telling the AI. I'm giving it a list of my strengths. 
I'm saying, listen, buster, here's a list of my strengths. And what I did is I went on my evaluations from all of third year and I copy and pasted everything. Excellent communication skills, able to build trust, blah, 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 blah. Okay. All that is me, all the evals that I received during third year, okay? And it says, based on your comments and pre it seems like you have several strengths that make you stand out. Okay, so summarize my strengths in bullet point form. I don't wanna read through that, it's a paragraph. Who wants a paragraph? I don't, okay? So now it's gonna be bullet point. Excellent communication skill. I took all of that, you could read all that, or you could put your story and say AI. Can you summarize it for me, mate? Can you tell me who I am without me having to search deep within? And um, this is what it told me. So it's like, okay, okay. Now that I have that, what do we want? We want answers. So. I don't like it, but it's bullet point. So it talks about me being a learner, adaptable, highly motivated, strong communicator. You fit in stories. You have to think about clinical experiences or times where you worked on a team and you're a very good communicator or you're demonstrating motivation. All right, so these are just examples. I hope you get the gist that you, you shouldn't trust AI all the time. Let's talk about what got you interested into medicine. Yeah. It has forgotten that I'm preparing for an interview, so act as my medical school interviewing coach. Help me answer this question. So the other thing is there's commands. You can tell it to act as a role. So I just told it, look, you're my coach here. You're doing this. In thinking and being in that position, Help me answer these questions. There you go. It's like personal story. Start by sharing a personal story that highlights your passion. Emphasize your drive. Show your enthusiasm. These are great points. These are definitely tips you want to weave into all of your answers. Your passion, enthusiasm, skills, and personal stories to go with that, okay? Moving on, there are gonna be questions where they say, tell me about a time you did this, or tell me about a time you had a conflict with a teammate and how did you resolve it? There have been similar questions in my life or that I've been preparing for that I'm like, ah, I can't think of one. I'm like, dude, I can't, I don't live everybody's experiences and I'm not that aggressive or I don't like conflict. So here's a question. Okay, it might throw out an example there. I, it assumes that I'm in a residency program, which is wrong. So I can actually edit this. Medical school interviewing coach. I'm in my fourth year of medical school and applying to a family medicine program. I'm gonna take this time to plug in Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, it's at Thiago Luzvargi. You can message me there, follow my stories, day in the life there. Don't forget to like this video and share it. This is AI, new stuff. I don't think there's a lot of people making videos like this. So I'm giving you some gold nuggets. I wanna boost this channel. We just crossed 1,000 subscribers. Let's take it to 10,000 this year as I begin residency in July. All right, here's the answer. Early in my medical school journey, I had a negative interaction with a resident during a clinical rotation. The resident had a different approach to patient care than I did, and we ended up having a disagreement about the best course of action of a particular patient. In the moment, I let my emotions get the best of me and respond in a way that was unprofessional, and so on. You can read it. I believe this experience has made me a better healthcare provider. There you go, you're making a lesson. After every example, try to give a lesson every answer. Now I approach difficult situations, more level-headed, more empathetic, committed to continuous learning and self-improvement, and uh, it's gonna help me become a better family physician. I like that. You could even use a specific example. This one's pretty vague, but that's good because it leaves room for your experience. Next question. I want you to act as my medical school interviewing coach. I want you to write down the top five most asked questions for medical schools in Canada. I want you to provide a weak answer with an example and provide an excellent answer with an example. I then want you to tell me the purpose of the question and write all of this in a markdown table. Three, two, one, go.
All right, we're done. Here are top five most asked questions. Why do you want to pursue Korean medicine? I want to be, is a weak answer. I want to become a doctor because I think it pays well. Nice. Excellent answer. And these are too short. Honestly, your, your answer is going to be longer, but it gives you an idea of what to focus on. So I have always had a passion for science and helping others. I believe that medicine combines both interests throughout my life. I've seen the positive impact of healthcare. Okay. So this is very cookie cutter. Don't, don't use that. Okay. You want to use your life examples and what i recommend um is either buy a kindle version of, the, of a book which is cheap from either bmo for medical school uh, interviews or mdhq by dr ryan gray flip to the back or scroll to the back and look at their practice questions and answers and they have great examples there and then the purpose to assess the motivation understanding volunteering in a hospital and patient uh, worsen i assess situation with a nurse and called for a doctor, stay with the patient offering comfort support until this experience taught me the importance of being able to think quickly. Okay, so decent. It's an experience you had, you talk about the story, and then you link it with what it taught me. Obviously, you want your answer to be a little more personable, a little bit longer, and kind of sell your story. Remember, you want to show what you experience, what you learn, not just tell. And remember that part of answering an interview is the enthusiasm, the eye contact, the nonverbal cues or movements. How do you handle stress and pressure? I don't. I just try to relax and watch TV, mate. Oh, I have developed a number of strategies to handle stress and pressure, such as exercise, meditation, and time management. I also make sure to prioritize self-care. How? You know, get enough sleep, taking breaks when I need, uh, found these habits to help me. Okay, so like, what do you do? I come home, I go for a run, I do some meditation, I go paddle boarding, skiing. How does it make me feel? You know, do you hang out with friends? Like those are, this is good starting steps. Like, oh, what should I be thinking about? And then you wanna apply what you do in your life in these answers. Go do it. Why? Do you choose to apply to medical school, our medical school? I just want to go to any medical school. The answer everyone thinks, but nobody says. I was particularly impressed by the reputation of your medical school by providing well-rounded education, promoting hands-on experience. I appreciate it. Okay, short answer, cookie cutter, not the best, but it gives you things to think about. You want to, you know, talk about the location, talk about family if you got any, or your experiences there or you know how let's say you know there's gonna be marathons and you're a runner and you look forward to already being involved okay can you tell us about a time when you had to work with someone who had different opinion than you one example that comes to mind is when i was working in a group uh, project university one member of the team had different approach the project rest of us instead of getting frustrated fighting we had a discussion we were able to find a solution that incorporated everyone's ideas and met the needs of the project Tom many points of effective communication and collaboration. Those are two can man rules. Search a love cloud. Got pumped there. So I hope this video has been helpful. Remember, the recap here is this tool is very effective. You just type in Google, open AI, chat GPT, create an account. Sometimes it lags because there's so many users on it, like millions. And then have a list of questions that you want to prepare. You can find these on Reddit, anywhere online and the books I recommended. Create your own genuine, authentic answers. Do not copy and paste. You can see these answers are not 100% the best, but they are good enough to guide you. And your output is only only going to be as good as your input. So remember when I told it to act as my medical school interviewing coach, it did a lot better and gave me better examples. And if you're not satisfied, you could say expand this answer or make it more professional or use more stories as examples. And then you're going to create this kind of library of answers that you can then practice rehearsing to your dog, to anybody in, in your house on a Zoom call, because most interviews or all interviews are done via Zoom now. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment. Please like this video so the algorithm boosts it. If you want these outputs, I will create a Notion page and just drop it in the, in the link or description. If you want me to answer more questions and use ChatGPT to answer any other questions, drop the ideas in the comments and I will do that. I will make a whole bunch of AI videos if you want. If that is what you demand, I will serve. For now, I get to prepare for my own residency interview so I can match in the residence program that I want. Also, 
Let me know if you've tried AI, drop down some prompts to help other people out. And until next time, take care, peace. Love you.